Um, I think I got everything I need. Should be good to go. Frogs are different sizes. I try to pick like an average sized one. So you're always going to start with the stomach facing upward. Okay. Um, we need to begin by pinning it down. We'll get some of these out here. Good. All right. You need to make sure that the pins are very securely in because the frog's going to tend to move a little bit. Now, the problem though is unlike your starfish, which you didn't have to pin, and the earthworm, which is really easy to pin through, your frog has bones, obviously, so you are going to have to pin kind of right through the bone joint back here. So it takes a little bit to get through there. You just pin it straight through. Sometimes you actually hit the bone, like right there. It takes a little bit to click it through. All right, then the tough part here is these arms. They tend to get in the way. I need to get them out of the way, and to do that, I'm um, going to do something very special with them. What's the best way to get these arms out of the way besides pinning them back? Because I pin them back, they just, they go like that. So what am I going to have to do first? The fun part. Marcus? Cut them. Not necessarily cut it. Oh, no. Any other ideas? Jaden? You like pop them out of the socket? Yes, you have to break the arms. Yep. Ooh. All right, so if you're super quiet, maybe you'll hear it. Nope, that one didn't make any noise. That's lame. Let's try this one. Come on. Oh. Right, a little, a little bit. Yeah. It like the Just a little bit. <laughs> Pin the arms back. Because once they're broken, the arms will tend to stick back a little bit better than they would have otherwise. See, now they'll actually pin back. All right, there's two things here. You have this thin skin layer on top. You can kind of see it there. We need to get that skin out of the way first. So you start not really far down, not into the legs, but just above the legs a little bit. You start by making an incision, just down like that. Um, frogs are juicy, so I'm going to kind of push some of that liquid out of there because I don't really want to deal with it. <laughs> not that anybody needs to, but feel free to take a seat if you're like, you know what, I don't really want to see that. Not you. I've never had anybody have a problem, and nobody's going to, but it's just out there, just so you know. All right, got my little incision there. Get some of that juice out of there. All right, and then I'm going to cut the skin away right down the side on both sides here. Attempt this left-handed. Usually I don't do so well, but that's okay. Good enough, sort of. All right, good. Then we're going to cut the skin all the way up. I have to cut through my glove. It's kind of gross. All right, keeping my scissors pointed up, right? I want to dig down and stuff right up toward the chin. Good. And then I'm going to do the same thing right up here, right underneath the arms to start. Cut the skin away on both sides. Open up. Check out the frog's awesome eight pack it's got going on. <laughs> Obviously, I could rotate this and do this the smart way and go right handed the whole way, but let's train my brain a little bit and go left handed. Or not, because apparently my brain can't handle it. Okay. Too much weight. There we go. Right, cut the skin away. Now, you could, if you wanted to, you could pin the skin back. I don't want to, it's kind of a pain. I'm just going to get rid of it altogether. I'm just going to cut off this skin here. Because when it's out of the way, I don't have to deal with it, which is kind of convenient. So let's throw that right there, nice and pretty. Other side, same thing. Get nice and around it all if you can. Just like when opening up the top of the starfish, you want to make sure you got a nice big window to go through. So I'm going to cut all the way around the abdomen as much as possible. Okay, good. See the nice little fluid pockets back here? Get all that out of there. All right. Then, uh, let's clean this up a little bit too. All right. <coughs> now, conveniently, the skin, obviously you're going to cut it, but it can kind of tear away a little bit too. That helps out at times. Snipped a little bit of muscle wall there as well. Oh well. Liquidy. Can like flick water at you. Well, not water. Not anymore. <laughs> Which is why you wear your goggles. Frogs can get back at you once in a while. Alright, that's open up then. So you can see the muscle lining in the inside. You can see blood vessels kind of going right down the middle here as well. Next thing is to repeat that process this time, however, with the muscle lining as opposed to the actual skin itself. So I should have a nice big spot to look through here. Good. Do the same thing again. Going to snip a little spot right in the muscle. Nice and shallow, of course. As shallow as I can make it. Do the same thing. I'm going to cut down to the side. Get some of that juice out of there. 
Otherwise it might pop up at me and I don't really want to deal with that. Same thing over here, down the side. Make sure my scissors still in there. Cut nice and shallow the whole time. Good. All right, and then very carefully, same thing upward. Keep my scissors nice and shallow. Don't want to dig too deep in because I don't want to try to avoid cutting the organs as best I can. All right, when I get to right about here, um, I can't really close my scissors anymore. They won't cut because I'm right where the rib cage is. You have to cut through the bone which it's doable, you have to kind of push a little harder, so I'm going to kind of put my scissors in there and just kind of cut through it. Get that out of the way. Come back up here, cut it off to the side again. Again, there's bones there, so to snip through, and I can get the scissors where they need to be. There we go. Good. Back over this side. Cut some bones. Keep my scissors as shallow as possible if I can. Right through them, there we go. All right, cut some tissue here. Get that opened up. You'll notice it's not as red as they made it look. That's so cool. Same thing, I wanna get this just out of here completely, so I'm gonna cut this muscle off here as well without cutting my glove, hopefully. Get that out of there. Yeah, it's great. Like I said, I think I told you guys a lot of it would be gray, didn't I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of it is. It's not as pretty bright red as they make it look, that's for sure. Right there. <coughs> Carefully here. I don't want to cut through anything vital. You know, as, as vital as candy when it's all dead and opened up and everything. There we go. Okay. So at this point, this is what your frog looked like in the app. Obviously, I didn't pin back the skin of the muscle. I kind of cut it all away. But now you can kind of see a lot of the parts. You have the three different lobes of liver. That would be this right here, these three guys. Oh, I forgot to ask one important question in the beginning. Is my frog male or female? Female. How can I tell? Logan? Nice, thin thumb pad. Okay, so then I've got it all opened up. You'll have a sheet of paper, I don't have one made right now, but a sheet of paper right next to you. It has little circles for all the organs. It'll be a spot that says liver, and there's a circle underneath of it. You want to very carefully try to get all of those organs. So you're going to try to very carefully break some of the tissues up top. It's like Operation, only way cooler. <laughs> and without, like, the zipping. Yeah, not as much of a buzzer. I might have to cut that a little bit. <laughs> more juice, yeah. A little bit more juice, anyway. I've never played a juicy version of Operation. But. So I think, I don't know if I talked about it or not, but I challenge you to try to make sure you get the liver as nice and intact as you can. Did I talk about that at all? Yes. Maybe, maybe not. Um, anyway, the liver has three big lobes. It's always a nice challenge. Kind of like getting the stomach out of the starfish in one piece. It's a nice challenge to try to get the liver lobes in three distinct pieces as well. So like there's one lobe of the liver. So it's nice and careful. We do have the time here. But yeah, like six minutes, perfect. All right, I'm gonna do the other one. Obviously when you guys dissect, I think I told you I don't quite, come on left-handed, you're, you're steadier than that, you can do it. I don't quite have enough rocks for everybody to have their own, so you will have somebody kind of giving you backup support while you're doing it as well, as long as you don't cut each other's hands. Wow, my left hand is really shaky. Mm -hmm. Two. Like so I'll put kind of all three of these. <laughs> See, it looks like a mushroom. That's why I hate mushrooms. Mushrooms are gross. No, that's not. Oh, left-handed. Step. Here we go. Good enough. So I'll place all three of those in the spot that says liver. Now the liver's out of the way. I've got a few remaining chunks here. Not too bad. Pretty good for a first effort. All right. Then you can see some other things. Um, right underneath here, let's get some of that cleaned up out of the way a little bit. That's all unnecessary tissues. All right. We can see, and you might not be able to see very well from far away, but we have the heart right here. It does not look red. It's this weird, almost triangular thing right here. That's the heart. 
Um, we have the gallbladder, which you want to be careful about because it's just kind of like a see-through sack here. It's not green like they made it look in the app. So you have the gallbladder kind of right there. You have the stomach right here, this big thing. I can check in a second, see if I have a gift inside the stomach. Um, <laughs> moving on, um, stomach connects down here to the intestines. You can see the two kind of running through here. There's a large, there's a small back in there as well. Um, all right, then got some spaghetti in here too. Here's some of my spaghetti. Oh. Oh. I told you, it's spaghetti. That looks disgusting. These are the oh. fat bodies. That actually looks like color. It looks really close to what it looks like. It looks like ramen like. noodles. Yeah. yeah. Forever ruined. Yeah, exactly. All right. A few more on the other side. Like I said, they're not limited to being on one side, so I got a few on the other side. Here as well. I would get those cleaned out, all my fat bodies. Now, I do have a female. We talked about that. The eggs would be right along in the inside here, right by where the fat bodies are. I don't have any. Um, you would know if you had eggs. If you get the fat bodies out of the way, and there'd be a bunch of smaller clumps of yellow, it looks like, not the little strands or strings. You'd have more kind of pinned back in there. All right, let's see what else we have. Um, we have. More fat bodies. We have our kidneys back in here, kind of way back in the bottom. You can kind of see them down there. They're kind of attached. Let's just be nice and mean and rip it right out. Sorry, Frog, you're not going to do that. You guys are going to cut it carefully. <coughs> this would be a kidney. There's one on each side. So I put that down in the kidney spot. Up underneath here, boom, I have my lungs up on the underside. They're just like, yeah, they're kind of small, gray, obviously uninflated. Sorry, Frog, nothing personal. So I have two lungs. You guys are going to take your time and cut them as opposed to ripping them up. The lungs are up in there as well. Um, pancreas, this little strandy guy right in here. You kind of see that right there. That would be the pancreas. Kind of hard to see, to be careful about that one. When you have your mat next to you, the <laughs> digestive system is going to come out in one big piece. So you're basically going to cut right at the top of the stomach and down here at the end of the intestines, right before the cloaca. You're going to take the whole thing out and set that down. Um, otherwise, that pretty much covers everything we need. But I am curious, so we're going to see if I have a gift here. Yay. You can see the other parts in there. There's a spleen right in there as well as I move stuff out of the way. Now it just looks like I'm butchering the frog. I don't mean to do that, but I'm trying to go super quick. Stomach. If there is something, I might cut it in half, but that's okay. Please don't squirt. Something in there, whatever it was. But there's something in there. Come here. What have we got? I don't really know what it was yet. Oh, it might be a beetle. Kind of looks like it was a beetle. Ew, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Wait, honestly, it's Tom. Yeah, same. We'll go quick in just a second here. Anyway, there's something there. It looks like some legs. Probably a beetle, something like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then the other thing we talked about was the tongue. All right. So right in here, if you're on this side, you can see pretty well here. Um, you see the little vomarine teeth right there? Mm -hmm. The two little dots right at the top there? You'll see them when you guys look tomorrow if you can't see them from there. They're two little almost whitish dots there. Um, I can kind of feel it's on the inside ridge right up here. With the tweezers, I can feel it kind of like the ampulla. I kind of feel it a little bit like sandpaper. This thing right here is the tongue. It's really big right here. This whole thing is the tongue. So that is the tongue of the frog. It attaches on the underside here. Come here, tongue. It does not look long because it's kind of dead. Otherwise, it's very stretchy. Yep. Can I? Not very well because it's kind of dead. No, I can't. But it's more the connective tissue on the bottom. So there's the tongue of our frog. Um, we could look further in later, see if you can get into some of the tissues. Um, when you have time, when you dissect, you'll be able to remove the jaw if you want and kind of look on the inside as well. I think that pretty much sums up. Any last questions you guys have on anything dissection related? It's pretty easy. Everything is, for the most part, pretty big. There's a few things that are kind of hard to see. You have to kind of dig in there a little bit. I think I told you guys there's that nice little pool of juice on the bottom in here. That's where you'll probably find the lungs and the kidneys, so make sure you're willing to kind of dig through that. So this other lung you can see is hiding back in here. Boom, lung right there. Anything else? All right, sounds good. You can cut if you would, Jaden. Thank you.